Beef, a meat loved since man first discovered the cow. Where's the beef? This treasured food is loved in a multitude of forms, anywhere from the juicy hamburger to the perfectly grilled prime steak. However, beef could very well be your worst nightmare. Mad cow disease. Mad cow disease in this country. Bovine spongiform encephalopathy, also more commonly referred to as mad cow disease, is a chronic degenerative disease affecting the central nervous system of cattle. Mad cow disease was first diagnosed in the cattle of Great Britain in 1986. Thousands of cattle all across Europe began showing symptoms of the disease and were quickly dying off. The disease reached its peak in January of 1993 when nearly 1,000 new cases of cattle were being diagnosed and reported each week. By 1999, more than 175,000 cattle were diagnosed with the disease in Great Britain alone. Epidemiologic data from various scientific research suggests that bovine spongiform encephalopathy may have been caused by feeding cattle rendered protein produced from the carcasses of scrappy infected sheep. Despite the mass amounts of dead cattle, beef was still considered to be safe to eat by many political figures and scientists all across Great Britain since it was believed that BSC was not harmful to humans. When you've got the clear support of the scientists who deal with these matters, the clear support of the Department of Health, the clear action of the government, there is no need for people to be worried, and I can say perfectly honestly that I shall go on eating beef as my children will go on eating beef because there is no need to be worried. It wasn't until May of 1996 when Stephen Churchill, a young 19-year-old boy, became the first human victim of variant creutzfeldt jakob disease due to the consumption of beef products contaminated with central nervous system tissue, such as the brain and spinal cord, from cattle infected with mad cow disease. I must have been about 25. The thing that first comes to mind is the horrible pictures on the news of thousands and thousands of dead cows, dead carcasses being burned on farms all across the country. And the other thing that was really frightening was the way the cows were behaving before they died. They couldn't stand properly, they couldn't walk properly. The cause of BSC remains unknown, but several hypotheses lead scientists to believe the infectious agent causing the neurological disease is an abnormal version of a protein commonly found on cell surfaces called a prion. Prions are extremely small and are only able to be seen under an electron microscope once they have been aggregated and formed into a cluster. A prion is composed of abnormally folded protein called cellular prion protein or PRPC. PRPC is mainly found on the surface of cells in the central nervous system, but is also located in other bodily tissues. Although the specific role of PRPC is not clear, studies suggest that this protein plays a protective role in the cells and helps them respond to oxygen deficiency. The misfolded prion proteins affect the brain structure by inducing proteins with normal folding to convert to the abnormal prion form leading it to an exponential accumulation of prions in the tissue of the central nervous system. These abnormally folded proteins form plaques, which are thought to cause entanglement of neurons and interfere with the synapse function. The nerve cells are eventually damaged and lost, which cause tiny vacuoles to form in the brain. These give the brain a sponge-like appearance. Prions do not contain nucleic acid, Prions are therefore resistant pr to procedures that destroy pathogens by breaking down nucleic acid. Furthermore, because these particles are an abnormal version of a normal protein that is already called for in the body, they do not trigger a host immune response, making it virtually invincible. Due to the creation of tiny holes in the brain caused by prions, BSC causes for victims to die very quickly. Symptoms of mad cow disease in cattle include nervousness or aggression, change in attitude and behavior, abnormal posture, coordination problems, difficulty walking or getting up off the ground, reduced milk production, acute muscular twitching, unexplained loss of body weight in spite of good appetite, 
severe moaning, and death. Treatment options consist of keeping the cattle as comfortable as possible. However, it is fatal.